Welcome to jobskillshare.org IT advisory video for networking. Now this is a very big side in IT where you can be working in many many different areas like networking NOC, uh, network engineer, system administrator, uh, even in security. You just need to know the networking depending on what type of title you have. If you're a help desk person, you're going to the entry level jobs, people may test you on a basic level where you can understand the technology and things like that and basic troubleshooting like, you know, is the um, port plugged in, is it up and down, uh, or uh, can I reset the adapter and, f and knowing what the networking is that's kind of like be that this will be the basic uh, questions that you're going to get in interviews like what is TCP IP what is the port what is this port all of that stuff that I have mentioned before also but if you want to learn everything now for like you know we have a really good resource uh, and and we basically get the permission from professormaster.com to share his links in our site so one of the best thing that I would suggest is to go to professormesser.com and then click on A+. This is specifically for your network plus learning, a uh, network learning, sorry, networking learning. Now this course is towards A+. You can really use this to get the A+ certification, but I tell people that keep focus on one course. When you finish this course, then you can jump into the A+ or finish the A+, then take the help this course. So in this course, I would suggest you in this section, learn about networking over here. You're going to learn about some basic cables, TCP IP ports, and this is where you're going to be able to start talking about that question when someone asks you, do you know this port? Do you know IPv4? Can you tell me, is this a, a DHCP or is this a static IP address and stuff like that, which is going to be, you're, you will be able to answer from this uh, session. Going down, there's another important session and this one is network troubleshooting. So make sure you look into the network troubleshooting section right here, which is really important. Uh, people can, people may test you even like a hands-on test. Uh, and this is where you learn that stuff from professormesser.com. Um, and then if you go down, there's another session called Windows Networking. You should also look into this. Now, as a premium member, where can you uh, learn these skills hands-on? Uh, then you can jump into your labs like for example if you go to the A plus lab right here Which is a 902 new new lab and that's kind of like a, a Combination between these two. This is also 902 and this is also 902 So if you go all the way right here is IPv4 IPv6 you can you will learn that Whatever you learn in professormaster.com for that IPv4 and IPv6 session, you can hands-on apply it right here from that videos also. So you can learn about TCP IP stuff, uh, a lot of good stuff are in there. And then you can come down and say, you can see right here, tr uh, troubleshoot network connectivity issue. So you can actually watch these videos and then come back to these labs and do it as Professor Messer is teaching on his machine. So this is an extremely good hands-on practice right there if you have premium access. If you want to take more, you can go to the older labs. It doesn't matter because these skills are the same. Testing network connectivity. This is something that we deal with almost, you know, sometimes we have to come across issues, right? So we need to know how to use these type of troubleshooting skills. And this is the best lab right here, even though it's a little older, but it's still, uh, it's great for knowing what steps you need to take to troubleshoot issues like this. So these are the, the two things that I recommend for people. If you're taking it for free, make sure you take all this and apply this on your own machines. If you have premium access, then get to these labs and then do it hands on. And whatever you see right here in this professormesser.com uh, site and whatever you learn, you can actually come back to your labs and apply it right here hands on. Um, why do you need this? Again, you, you can type anything here. Ability to troubleshoot basic networking and connectivity issues. This is for help this technician job. You can see tier one is also there, network troubleshooting. And people will ask you um, about this in the interview. So you should be able to answer. You should be able to answer. Or you can even talk about what you have learned in these hands-on labs. And that is going to give you a really good positive impact on the interview. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in another advisory video.